Hey guys, Namaste one and all. This is Mukesh Vijaya from Sai Medha ESET Koti Hyderabad Center. Today we are going to see some time saving uh, technique problem in the ESET examination. Okay, let us see the problem now. So here the question is root over root over minus 63 plus uh, 16 aeta. Okay, what is the question here? To find out the uh, square root of a complex number. In general, you have a certain formulas, right? You can do it with the formula. Or either you can write this one as a plus aeta b, a plus aeta b. By squaring on both sides, you will get a, a like a, the right hand side, you are going to get a, a square minus b square plus aeta into 2ab. By comparing a real term and imaginary term, you can do the problem also in different ways. But in the examination of ESA point of view, it does not take that much time. You need to complete within a 54 seconds, right? That is why we are analyzing this question here okay let us see the question how we are going to do here very simple whenever the examiner was asking to find a square root of complex number remember this technique okay first you need to take the imaginary term consideration okay and you need to take out the imaginary term coefficient out what is the imaginary term coefficient here 16 listen very carefully fine is the imaginary term coefficient was 16 just you please do this one but divide with 2 then what you will get then 8 what are the imaginary term coefficient was there you please take out and you just divide with 2 whatever it might be the value then you will get a 8 in this case you please try to write the factors for 8 possibility in a different proportion what are the factors for 8 let us see that 1 into 2 will be the 8 2 4 is 4 2 is and 8 1 is these are the possibilities there is only one technique once what we did here First, yes, we took out the imaginary term uh, coefficient, imaginary term coefficient and we just divided it to 2, then we got some 8 value and we try to write the different factors for the 8, okay. In these options only the answer was there. In these options only we can conclude the answer. In order to conclude the answer, there is one more logic we need to remember here that uh, the square difference of these values, whichever it might be, either of the 4 options. The square difference of these values, one of the option is going to get a minus 63. That is a final answer for us. Okay. Let us see from first one square. How much? One. Eight square will be 64. One minus 64 minus 63. Is it clear? Right. So all the possibilities here. Two square nothing but four. Four square nothing but 16. Four minus 16. How much? 4 minus 16 minus 12 here this is a mirror image of uh, these two possibilities that is why you are going to get plus 12 and uh, plus 63. Is it okay? Now the correct option is here that is nothing but the combination of A and B values or uh, A is equal to 1 uh, or B is equal to 8. If you want to write in a point form A comma B is equal to 1 comma 8 or either if you want to write in a required answer here this is nothing but actually we need to remember we need to replace plus or minus before the representation of complex numbers because the square root value of anything square root of 4 definitely going to get plus or minus 2 square root of 9 definitely going to get plus or minus 3 square root of 225 definitely going to get a 15 plus or minus 15 in a similar fashion you are going to get plus or minus a plus i eta b what is the final answer here plus or minus 1 plus uh, 8 aeta. Is it okay? In this way, the examiner might ask you plus 63 also. Plus 63 also. Whenever you are asking plus 63 means what? Uh, the combination of 8 and 1, but the reversal of A and B values. Then what happens then A value? A value is going to be 8 uh, and B value is going to be 1. This is very, very important uh, observation in the complex number problems. Please try to analyze it and try to apply more number of problems. Definitely you are going to get an uh, answer for this. Okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe this channel. Okay? Thank you so much. And uh, signing off, this is Mukesh Bijja. Thank you.